Hello, this is Dr. Tom King at Doan College. I want to show you how to create a very simple Google site. So I've gone to sites.google.com and you see this below. And if you log in to your Doan email account, uh, it will access Doan Google Sites to the Doan Domain uh, Google Sites, which gives you a lot more bells and whistles. So to create your site, as I demonstrated today in the workshop, and I'll simply repeat it, you go over here to create, click the red create button. If you want to create a template or create a, a, um, a site from scratch, you want to use the blank template. In this case, you will need to name it. So I'm going to call this test site. Notice down here it's going to indicate the uh, URL for the site as it is. Again, you'll be able to alter this name later on if you want. Select a theme. All right, I'm going to go here and I'm going to select Microsport. And then that's all I'm going to work with on that point and click Create. Okay, you'll notice here at the top it says the location is already used by another site. So I, neither, I need to select a unique name. So I'm going to simply add my initials and see if that will take care of it. Okay, that works, and you notice it's called Test Site TK. To um, edit, this is what you would call the home page, and you'll notice it says home. So if I click the little pencil right here, I have the ability to add content in this area. Uh, you also have the ability, if you want to add images, go over here to insert, and you can add an image there, or you can really add all kinds of things. You may want to play around with this to see what you want. You can add a YouTube as well. Notice in the layout, I can create two columns. All right, and I showed you how to do that. And then, of course, you can add content over here as well. And then you have the ability to change the text color, background, add links. If I wanted to add a link, I would simply do add content, go to insert, link, and then I would click web address, and then I would write the URL that you would want to link that text to. So that's very easy to do. If you want it to open in a new window, window just click that little box right there. Okay, so I'll turn that off. Now, um, once you have that done, you click save. And so our home page, very little has been done, you see, but you see I've added the content, and there that is. All right, let's add a page. So click new page. And again, I'm going to say, um, I'll simply call it new page. Remember I told you you could use these different templates. I'm going to keep web page. I want to keep it at the top level and click create. So it, it automatically shows over here. Now here is one way to guarantee that the page shows up on the menu. After you've created the page, Go ahead and save it, all right? Stay on that page. Go over here to this little gear over here uh, and select um, page settings, okay? This gives you the ability to set up the page settings. Again, if you don't want the comments, if you want to allow attachments, uh, you can do so and click Save, all right? And you'll notice that it has the, I give, gave me the ability to add files. Now, if I want to navigate this area, uh, first off, let me go back to the home page. Let's start from the home page. So I've actually created two pages here. So remember, this is going to alphabetize it unless you change that in the navigation settings. So how do you change that? Go to the little wheel over here and go down to Edit Site Layout. Then click... Um, edit. All right. This is where you edit the sidebar. We're going to keep it on the left. We're going to keep the width. All right. But we want to add navigation. So I'm going to click here. All right. I want the word navigation to show up. So I'll click. Unclick this will now allow you to add your pages here. So I'm going to put home page on there. I'm going to have to do one each one individually. Add page, want to add new page there. All right, now I have the ability 
to move these around the way I want. And it will get away from Google trying to organize it automatically. All right? I'm going to click Recent Site Activity. That's kind of nice to know. And click OK. All right. So you know I have a navigation area. Now it's, it's still in the edit mode, so that's why it's showing that. If I go over here to, to Sidebar and click the little plus, I could add some other information. I could add a, a text area. All right, and I'm going to click Close. All right, so now as I've begun my site, I can begin to think about sharing it. Click Share. Here's the URL here. I can indicate the visibility options. Let's say I change it to public. Click Save. And you notice you're the owner. If you want to invite people, you can do so here. And you also give the ability to allow them to be an editor, a co-owner, or a viewer. Okay? So that's kind of, in general, what we did uh, this morning. And I'm glad you came by. I hope this is helpful to you. And if you have any other questions, I'll be more than happy to help you. Just give me a call or stop by my office at CM20. All right. Thank you.